still can't believe they're actually charging us for water. Why not? Well, because this is Ireland. I mean, I'm not a scientist or anything, but as far as I know, in this country, that stuff falls freely from the sky. Just to let you know, I have to go to sleep really soon, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, right, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sorry. When I saw you, I could barely breathe. When I touched you, I felt my soul in me. I mean, I wouldn't mind if, you know, we lived in the desert or... Or on the moon, or something like that. But mm. I mean, next thing we know, you know, they'll be charging us for using air. You know what? I'm really not. I stood before you, lost for something to say, and the rest of our lives just faded away. You know, tomorrow's my mother's nine-month anniversary. Oh, I'm so glad I got to meet her. <laughs> yeah, me too. I just wish you had time to get to know you better. Yeah, I never did get past calling her Mrs. McCarthy. No, no she let you call her Mary in the end. Uh, maybe once, but even then it was, it was a little uncomfortable. Seems the universe had taken its time. What awaits us all is now yours. And I'm sure she's looking down on us now. Yeah, I'm sure she is. <sighs> well. Life goes on. I, no, no. I'm front of your mother. Hold me close forevermore. I'll never be the same. Every breath I draw will speak your name. No, no, honey. Sorry, it's that time of the week. That time of the week? Yeah. Are American women different? But, <laughs> no. It's Wednesday. I work a double tomorrow. Oh, right, that time of the week. Oh, okay. Good. Good night. Believing now in what proves to be real On the journey towards where the scars will heal I'm so over our waiting tables. Well, hopefully it won't be for too much longer. I'll just leave it. It's fine. You know, actually, I think I need to hang it up. There. Woo! Up. Don't you have gravity in America? No, no, I've never heard of it. <laughs> I need to hang that up. <sighs> Hold me close forevermore, I'll never be the same. Every breath I draw will speak your name. Every breath I draw will speak your name. Hey! I have the closing shift, so I will try not to wake you up when I come in. Oh, no, don't worry. If you do, I always fall back to sleep. I mean, as long as you remember to hang your clothes up and just don't leave them lying on the floor. You know what? Maybe I'll sleep in the other room. What? What do you mean? Well, we'll talk about this later, okay? Gotta go. Talk about what later? I have to go. Look, Nicole, I know things haven't been great between us the last few months, but they'll get better. I mean, we're just settling into married life. You know, all couples... You know, this is supposed to go in the recycling. And... What's this doing in here? Really? Oh, my God. Uh, no, I, look, I, I am sorry. I'm sorry. Look, just... You'll feel better, I promise you will. Look, just give it a... Give it a couple of days or, or a couple of weeks or... Or a few months. I will. <laughs> Cheers. See you Monday. Oi, O'Sullivan, where do you think you're going? It's a minute to five. Exactly. Sure, anything I start to know I can never get finished in a single minute. I'd only be wasting my time. It's my time, not yours. Now, back to work. I don't bother coming in Monday. I know he's not the best boss in the world, but you can't just steal all his money. If anyone deserves it, it's him. I mean, he's already cut my wages twice in the last six months. How can he even get away with that? Uh, he says it's because of the recession. But sir, he's hardly even been affected by it. Yeah, well, if you get caught, you'll end up going to jail. That might be just as bad as working for McSweeney. You know, there must be close to over 100,000 euros in there. How oh, do you know that? 
I set up a nanny cam in his office. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so, are you in or not? Not. Why? Well, because we're not criminals. I mean, we, we probably you know, try to blow open the safe and then end up setting all the money on fire. You know, there's another reason why I set up the nanny cam. Is it because there's a baby inside the safe? <laughs> No, I actually set up the nanny cam so that I could videotape the exact combination he dials when he opens the safe. It's actually not a bad idea. It's a stroke of genius. So, are you in or out? I'm out, and it's your shout. Huh? You're going to regret it, but try not to let it. Sorry to let you down, but I have more than half a brain in my crown. I'm going to have a ball, and I won't be taking a ball. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's a stroke of genius, all right. Well, if I hadn't left America, then I could never have met you when you came over here. So you really didn't like living there? No, it's just after ten years I was ready to come home. And anyway, I thought you liked living in Ireland. I do. It's just I don't really feel like we're doing anything with our lives here. I mean, remember the business idea we had? The sliding table or the talking fridge? The talking fridge. <laughs> Nobody wants to have a talking fridge. How can you be so sure? Well, because I sell appliances for a living. No, Nobody wants to, you know, open their fridge door and have a voice telling them what they should or shouldn't you know, be eating. we could have at least tried to get a prototype made. Where would we have got the money to prototype a fridge? It's not an entire fridge. It's just like a little device that goes in the handle. Still, it would have been expensive. You know, we could have gotten creative. Why do we always have to pay the electricity bill right on time? Well, because that's what you're supposed to do. And anyway, if you don't, they cut you off. Not right away. I mean, if we did everything that we were supposed to do, then I would have gone back to America, even after I met you. Well, I can't help it if I'm so compelling. Or at least was so compelling. You know, I, I really should finish my master's degree. Well, you can do that here. I, I mean, you know, UCC has a whole nutrition department, and once your permanent residency comes through, it'll be really cheap. It's not just that. I mean... If my visa wasn't expiring, would you have even proposed? Yeah, yeah, I could, yeah, of course I would have. Definitely. You should really go back. To America? Yeah. By yourself? Yeah. You know, I don't need to always pay the, the, the electricity bill on time. I mean, I don't need to pay it at all. I mean, because I, I know you think that I'm, I'm this really kind of safe and, and boring kind of person, but, but you know, I haven't, I haven't told you this yet, but, but you know, Colm's boss has, has been ripping off his workers for a really long time, and so myself and Colm, we're, we're, we're planning to, to, to break in there and, and steal all the money from the safe that, that, that he hasn't been deterring to the tax office. And so if you think that, that I'm the kind of person that, that would never do something like that, then, then obviously you, you don't know the real me. How long have you been planning this? A really long time. I, I mean, at least, at least I have. I mean, Colm, I mean, he was saying, oh, it's too dangerous, you know, it's really risky. And I was saying, what, what's life without a little bit of risk? You know, a little bit of adventure. And, 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 and then I said, you know, the only thing that I want from it is, is just enough money to, to, to be able to, to build the prototype for the, the talking fridge. I thought you didn't like the talking fridge idea. I was just pretending, because then it would be an even better surprise for you, you know, when I got the money to, 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 to make the prototype. So the, the workers get the money they deserve, and we have enough to build a prototype and market our product. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, What's that? Oh, that's just my tax bill, you know, for my car. They, they want me to pay it in the next two days. <laughs> like they have any hope of someone like me ever doing something like that. Wow, I've, I've never seen you this passionate before. Yeah, well, you better get used to it, because now that I know it doesn't completely freak you out, I can just be my true self for a change. And then, I, I'm just going to destroy the water bill. Really? And how are you going to do that? I'm, I'm just going to slash it into a million pieces with a razor blade. And what about the rent check? Oh, I have to send that. Oh. But, 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 I, I'm going to send it five days late. <laughs> and what about our clothes? Are, are we going to hang them up? No, no, no. We're just going to throw them on the floor and then pile them all the way up to the ceiling. <laughs> all the way to the ceiling? And through the roof! <laughs> No, no, you did not have to tell her. Yeah, I did. 
You know, there are plenty of other ways you can get her to stay. Yeah, like what? I don't know. Just set her passport on fire. Yeah, yeah, because she's never going to get another one of those. <laughs> or I could hit you over the head with a crowbar. Tell the guards that she did it, then she'd get sent to prison, and you can go visit her anytime you like. You know, Colm, I really wish I had your brains. Actually, if you did hit me with a crowbar, I probably would. I have the superior brains, and my ideas come as plentiful as the reins. Yeah, and you should be locked up with the insanes. That's not a word. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Look, Colm, she has to be involved, okay? I mean, ever since I told her, it's like we're newlyweds. Ye are newlyweds. Yeah, well, I'd like it to continue to the next level if I could. We can handle it just fine with just the two of us. Look, even if that was true, I'm not doing it unless she's involved, okay? You can take it or leave it. Are you sure you don't want me to hit you with a crowbar? Hmm. Hey! Hey! That's my boy! Get out! Get out! Get I out! I thought you said we had permission to use Get the out. boat. <laughs> hey! Hey! Of course we don't. Bro, you're Get gonna out. give me Get killed out. one of these days. Just go. So if we study this carefully, we definitely should be able to work out the combinations. What's he doing here? Ah, he thinks he can come around any time there's a match on the telly. Should I let him in? No. Hey guys. I don't need to get up. I'm already here. What are you watching? Nothing. Yes, you are. What are you watching? It doesn't matter. If it doesn't matter, then why are you watching it? It has nothing to do with you, okay? And who's it got to do with? Just mind your own business, all right? Look, can we watch the match? I can see that the extended warranty may be worth it over time. But in my case, there may not be a whole lot of time left, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I see your point, all right. What? Well, no, I, I I mean, I was just saying, yeah, it's it's wise to, to consider that. I mean, I, I don't know what year you were born, but... This is absolutely no business of yours. What year I was born? I'm sorry, ma'am. I, you know, I was just agreeing with you. I mean, you were the one that said that... You, you... I'm aware of what I said, and thank you very much. Cheek of a little whippersnapper like you. Implying that I passed my fell by day. What are you doing? Why wouldn't you tell me about the video you were watching? Where did you get that anyway? I took it from Colin's house. I knew you were trying to hide something. Can you just sign me out for a five minute break? There's no need. Just do it, okay? You don't want to be involved in this, okay? Why? Because it's too risky. You're going to steal the money from the safe, aren't you? Will you keep your voice down? For I, God's I, sake. I want to be part of it as well. Look, it's not my decision to make, okay? Why are the two of you always doing things without me? You never let me be a part of anything. You can be part of other things, okay? Just not this. All right then, fine. If that's the way you want to be. But uh, now that I know about it, it's not gonna be my fault if something slips out when I'm talking to other people. Because it's very hard for me to control what I'm saying about things about fellas who I know. Fifa snapper. So it's just the four of us now, right? Right. And are you sure about that? Well, my cousin might be interested. Should I ask him? No, we don't want to ask your cousin, Shane. Well, but my sister, we don't want any of your family. Let's just keep it amongst ourselves, okay? So... so the first thing Max Sweeney does in the video is go about 20 minutes clockwise, then 30 five minutes anti-clockwise, about 18 minutes clockwise, 28 minutes anti-clockwise, and then 13 minutes clockwise again. And you can see the numbers from the video? No, but as long as we know the starting point and follow exactly the same pattern as McSweeney does, then we should open the safe up without any problems. It's not that simple. Why not? Well, first of all, the face of a clock has only 60 positions, whereas a dial in a safe has probably about 100. And when you're considering you can't see exactly what numbers he turns to, you're going to have to allow for a margin of error. Shane! If you break my treehouse, I will kill you. What kind of a margin? Well, you're going to have to consider that it could be you know, plus or minus one at every stop of the dial. And How many possibilities does that make? There's uh, 
five positions, three possibilities each, that's three to the power of five. That's 15. That's not so bad. No, actually, it's more like a couple hundred. When was the video last taken? About two weeks ago. And has he opened the safe since then? Yeah, probably. So he probably spins the dial after he closes it. So the starting positions are going to be different than what's on the video. So your plan's kind of hopeless. It is not hopeless. OK, look, if you can get back in the office and you can see what number the safe is on now, and then you videotape it the next time he opens it, I think we can find a definite pattern. Column, you need to see what number the dial is on now and then set up a nanny cam again. I could do that. Yeah. And we should write down all the possible combinations on poster boards so we can see them all together. Yeah, and I can get some poster boards from work. I can get some of the other supplies from the restaurant. Oh, and you know, the clock face was good for demonstration, but for practicing, we're going to need something that has 100 increments. One match till its magnitude, the whisper reaches me. Unparalleled in fortitude, the echo teaches me as I unfold. I am bold. Could you tell me how many minutes that one has in its hour? Sixty. I am just gonna steal these and take them off. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna. Well, no, actually, I, I should probably take them off. They don't cost that much. Yeah, well, I, I just want to make sure. I'm looking for one that has 100 minutes of the hour. Do you have any of those? No. See you tomorrow. There you go, sister. Oh, Enjoy that, though. Lord, have mercy on your soul and all those who come into contact with you. I think this is really going to work, guys. You and I will write down the combinations on the poster board, yeah. and you can test the equipment. Yeah. Once we write down three possibilities for each of the five digits, and then do every combination of all those numbers in the correct order, we should end up with 243 combinations. Silence turns its head around as bitter winds have still. Winter's moon no longer foul, the emptiness is filled. Darkness no match for this dawn. All right, so tomorrow we can cross-check the combinations on the poster board against each other, mm -hmm. and as long as everything adds up, I think I can have it typed and ready by Friday night. This Friday night? Yeah. Maybe we should wait another week. Another week? Yeah. Why? Well, I mean, you know, we've been having such a good time planning everything, maybe we should just continue to be, you know, planning everything. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, am. Yeah. Column says he can easily get us in through the front door, and according to him, the only security camera is right there at that entrance. So, if we park here, at the other side of the building, we just have to cover our faces until we get inside. So we're going to need some kind of disguises. Okay, well, if you're going to be typing up the combinations tomorrow, I suppose I could probably go get us some disguises if you like. Great. Grand day, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh. So, you're shopping for the wife, are you? I am, yeah. Tell me something. Is she a very big woman? Or is she a very small woman? That's not important. Oh, but it is. It's extremely important. Well, then, she's a pin woman. Look, I just want to buy these. And... Absolutely not. What? You take my advice now and put these two back on the shelf if you don't want to get into the hype of trouble when you get home. What do you mean? What do I mean, says he. Sure, aren't these two the very largest size that's available to womanhood? To, to be honest, I, I'm not really sure of her size. I, 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 so I, I just need to take the, the small ones and the extra large ones, just in case. But sure, haven't you already told me she's a very thin woman? <laughs> yes, I, I have, but, well, 
they're not for her okay i i, I mean i mean the, the, the small ones are her but the, the large ones they're, they're for someone else entirely i see how it is now all right and there's no doubt about it but the sacrament of marriage isn't worth a single freckle of what it used to be no no it's not like that at all when it comes to men and their fancy women there's not one single morsel of a moral left inside any of their godforsaken adulterous heads. Look, even if that was true, it's none of your business, okay? I, I just came in here to buy something, so, so let me buy it and, and I'll be on my way. Hello, Jim. Yeah? If you feel like dropping round to the shop in the next couple of minutes, you never know what you might find. What's going on? I can guarantee you that even if it doesn't happen straight away, any married man who engages in such vulgar, adulterous activities will most definitely get his comeuppance in the end. the guards if I can get something on this fella now we can knock off for the rest Jim, of the day Jim don't move there's a fella behind you has a gun pointed at your head what I got you a beauty who's the bastard now huh? oh you are you're definitely the bastard and now I get to go home for the rest of the day how's it going there How's it going? Uh, uh, uh. Are you aware that your tax disc has expired? I... Yeah, well, it's just by a couple of days and, you know, to be honest, that's, that's the first time in my whole life that I didn't renew it. It doesn't matter if it's a couple of days or a couple of minutes. You still have to pay the fine. Oh, nothing like this has ever happened to me before. So, you know, I, I couldn't help noticing that, that, that your friend played a bit of a joke on you before. Oh, my God, he did. And I can't believe I fell for it. Well, I, I don't know if you'd be interested, but maybe I could help you try to play a joke on him, you know. And then if he falls for it, you see, you got him back and I could keep my driving record as clean as it's always been. He's probably gone home to the house. I tell you what, why don't we hop into your car and drive over there? And when we get there, you blow the horn. And as soon as Kieran comes out, you throw me out onto the ground and I'll go face down in the dirt and he'll think I'm completely dead in the ground. No, no, no. I was just thinking that maybe I could do something like, you know, I, I, I could ring him up and, and pretend that, you, you, you know, you hurt your big toe or something and, and I'm the doctor asking him to come pick you up. Yeah. And then, and he'd drive all the way to the hospital and I wouldn't even be there. Yeah, exactly. No, no. Let's go with the other one. Hop in there and we'll drive around to the house. No, no, listen, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know why I said that, you know, it's, it's just been a really strange week and I, I haven't really been myself, so, you know, why don't you just, you know, g give me a fine for the tax disc and, and we'll hey, call it a day. You know, no, I have plenty of ways of finding a lot more wrong with a car besides an expired tax disc. You can be absolutely sure of that. That's a nice house. And, and, and the Bodhi live here. Uh-huh. Now, you blow the horn and then boot me out of the car. Well, what do you mean, boot you out of the car? Lift up your leg, then kick me as hard as you can and send me flying out onto the ground. No, no, listen, I, I can... You know, I, I, maybe, maybe I can blow the horn, but, but, but if you want to do that, I think probably you should make your own way out, out of the car. Jim! Jim! Jim, are you all right? Jim, are you all right, boy? An absolute beauty, huh? You scared the living <laughs> daylight. And you thought I was completely dead in the ground, didn't you? <laughs> my God, I did. <laughs> so who's the bastard now, huh? 
Oh, you are, Jim. You are definitely the bastard. And don't you forget it. <laughs> and another thing. What? I don't think we'll have any problem reaching our criminal quota for the month. Is that right, Jim? Mm. He gave me a right good whack on the side of the head. Oh, I can see him, Mark. They're all right. But you... You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. But but, but he for, forced my hand. I didn't... That do sounds it. like an admission of guilt to me. Absolutely, and I'm sure that that's how a judge will see it as well. Here's how it is. First, Kieran got me by making me think that you had a gun pointed to the back of my head. Then, yourself and myself got Kieran by making him think that I was stone dead on the ground. And now, the two of us got you by arresting you for assaulting a guard. A good whack on the side of the head. And we got you an absolute beauty. <laughs> Didn't we, Kieran? Oh, we did. I'd say that's probably one of our very best ever, is it? I'd say it's in the top 20 anyway. Or top 15, surely. 17. 16. So I'm not really under arrest? Oh, God, no. What kind of fellas do you think we are at all? We don't really know. Good up to you now. All right, thanks very much. Uh, it, was, it was a great laugh, lads. Uh, th thanks a million. Yeah. Bye bye now. All the rest of you now, bye. Right, yeah, all, all the best. God almighty. And then, after they handcuffed me, and I started, you know, thinking about the possibility of, of, of spending half my life in jail, I realized that I can't keep up this kind of charade. You know, I, I mean, the last few days with you have just been fantastic, but, you know, the, the, the truth is that I've been living a lie, and no matter what the consequences, now I feel that I just have to tell you the truth. Wait, what are you... What are you trying to say? Exactly. Well, I... I would just... Hold on one second. Hello? Are you the wife of a fella with a car that has a number plate 99G2416? I'm, I'm sorry, who is this? And never mind who I am. Did you know that your husband is having an affair with another woman? He's a good for nothing for landering little Who scam. is this? How'd you get this number? I'm a woman, the same as yourself, who once trusted a scoundrel that ended up dragging my heart over the fiery coals. And if you have any respect for yourself whatsoever, you won't let the same thing happen to you. So, you have been living a lie. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's what I've been trying to tell you. And what about now? I mean, is this still going on? No. No, it's not. I, mean, I know we've had our issues, but I, I never thought you were the kind of guy to just sleep with another woman. What? I, I, I didn't sleep with another woman. Really? Of course not. So then there was nothing physical? O only with you. Oh, thank God. Oh, I mean, I, I, I can hardly blame you for, you know, wanting to connect with someone else, especially on an emotional level, considering how distant I've been these past few months. But, I mean, I, I feel like I'm, I'm really moving past all that, you know? I mean, especially now that I know who you really are, and you know, especially since you were gonna you were gonna tell me the whole truth, and, and you know, from now on, you are not gonna connect with anyone else, not even on an emotional level, right? Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, I do want to go over those those little safe combinations one, one more time? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay. Mm. 
So the only security camera is outside the front door, right? Yes. Okay, so we should put on our disguises now and make sure not to take them off until we're inside the front door. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is it. Stay in the car. Do not move. Do not get out. And only use the walkie-talkie if you see someone coming, okay? Okay. <laughs> My eyes in upward turn with hopes of a higher quest. I beg the path beneath me burn through a voice that's yet to rest. But I'm changing for the better every day. Ever since you've come my way. 21. Hey, good buddy. Is something wrong? Is there someone coming? Do you hear me? Shane, can you hear me? Are you over? No, we're not over. We'll be out when we are, okay? No, are you over on the walkie-talkie? Over. Just tell me, is everything all right out there? Is every... Over. Well, good buddy. Good Buddy needs to tell Big Daddy what's going on with Rubber Ducky, Slim Shaker, and American Pie. Over. Shane, just don't contact me uh, unless somebody is around, okay? Eight, over. Is that an over or an over and out? Over. That's an over and if you don't shut up, I'll punch your lights out. 10 4, Good Buddy. Uh, this is an over and out from Big Daddy, too. You have knocked me over. I can't breathe alone through silence I can't take these passing moments I can't leave these thoughts unsettled Ever since you've come my way Close it, okay. Well, we're down to the last two. Oh my god. What? I didn't allow for enough possibilities. I'm pretty sure that, oh, if you have a margin of error in the first position and then it increases in the next position and then with every position after that, I can't believe I didn't remember that. It's the propagation of errors. God, there's not hundreds of possibilities. There's thousands. Sky. Car. 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 This is never gonna work. I'm sorry. There's a car. Huh? Huh? And it's stopping over. Where, Shane? No, hang on. I didn't say over. Well, I did say over, but it was over and not over. The next word I was going to say was there, so it was stopping over there. Not over, which is okay, over. Okay, Shane. Okay. Just stay low and be quiet, okay? Now turn off the walkie-talkie and stay out of sight. Over and okay, out. Okay, guys. Yeah. Alright, sh shut the door, turn off the light. What can I get you? Do you remember to get anything other than whiskey? Ah, sorry, forgot. I suppose whiskey will have to do then. Right. Oh, 
There you go. Thanks. You're not having any ice? No. I think I'll have a straight tonight. There I was thinking you were a man that was set in his ways. Hmm. What's this? What's what? This! Ronald McSweeney. Are you cheating on me? Of course not. I'm a man of principles. I wouldn't cheat on anyone. Really? Well, except for my wife. But, but that's completely different. So I'm the only woman you've ever brought here? Of course you are. Except for my wife. But that was a really long time ago. You know what I think? What? I think you're cheating on me. With your wife! Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, would you have a bit of cop on? But, but you know that uh, nothing has happened between me and my wife for well over a decade. Then why in God's name do you refuse to leave her? I told you her? why. She owns over half the company. And, uh, and the house is in her name as well. I'd be left with practically so nothing. the money? Oh, sir, for God's sake, I have a bit of sense. What do you take me for in God's name? I should have known. In all the years of being your fool of a mistress, you've been messing around with your wife behind my back. Oh, for heaven's sake. Don't be so ridiculous. I would never think of any other woman like that besides you. Especially my wife. What's going on, Reba? <laughs> You have knocked me over I can't breathe alone Through silence I can't take These passing moments I can't leave These thoughts unsettled Ever since you But you have not known about this. Me? You were the ones putting it in the bags. Yeah, but you're the one who's been monitoring the safe for the last two months. The nanny cam only filmed the front of the safe. All the Irish puns must have been in the back. And how long has the Irish pun been in a circulation? Since 2002. So obviously he's been stacking it away a lot longer than we thought. Too many bubbles. Too many and they're bubbles. just not good anymore. No, they're not. Well, I mean, at least we have some in Euro. I mean, that's probably like 20,000. I mean, that's not too bad. But there must be the three times that amount in Irish pounds. I just don't understand why he didn't change them into Euros when he had well, the chance. Well, maybe changing over a large sum of cash over a short period of time would have been a red flag to the tax department. The central bank? It's our only option. Oh, is that an option? They still exchange Irish pounds. They have to. Look, even if they do, we, we, we can't just wander in there with wads of outdated cash in our hands. Why not? Well, because... What are we supposed to say? Oh, well, you know, this morning I, I was changing the sheets on my bed and, and 60,000 quid just happened to fall out from under the mattress. We can do it in stages. <laughs> Use the hair dryer. <laughs> sure, people are always finding stacks of money in pockets of old coats and things like that. If we do it 50 quid at a time, it won't look suspicious. Right, so, so we're supposed to go in there every single week for the next, what, what, 20 or 30 years and say, oh, well, well this particular 50 quid I happen to find in, a, in, in an old overcoat that's different from all the other thousands of overcoats that I've been finding money in for the last, you know, three or four decades. Yeah, nothing suspicious about that. Yeah, and isn't the central bank in Dublin? Yeah. 
It is. So if you factor in the five or six hour drive it would take to get there and back and expenses like fuel and wear and tear on the car and maybe a meal, you're going to be running at a loss. So what are we supposed to do? It's still money. It's still worth something. No, it's not. Not in this situation. And you know, we can't leave it here. Max Sweeney might already have reported it stolen. No, he wouldn't have. Not unless he wants the revenue commissioner down on his head. <gasps> You know what? Brendan's right. We have to get rid of it. Uh, you know, we'll just give it to some charity. No one's going to suspect them. If they can find a way to change it into Euro, at least we know it went to a good cause. But that's us. We're the good cause. Look, we don't have to decide now, okay? Why don't we just put the money somewhere, we'll get some sleep, and we'll just work out what to do later on. Do you still think that our share of the euro will be enough to build the talking fridge? Well, it's not as much as we expected, but I'm sure we could at least build some kind of a prototype, if that's what you still want to do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're building a prototype. Yeah, we're building a prototype. Brendan, Brendan, wake up. No. Something's happened to the money. What? What happened? One of the bags is missing. It, it's the one with all the euro. Well, who would have taken it? From tainted ground where we once lay, we call for the brighter day. Shielded neath the falling tide, all our dreams coincide. If only to share the taste of summer rain. Embrace this moment. Shane here, leave a message and I'll call you back there. Shane, it's Brendan. We're on our way to your house, so just wait for us there, okay? And, and, and if you're not there, just phone me back. Don't do anything stupid, okay? There you go, sister. Enjoy that now. Oh, how humble my eyes as we feel the earth's release and beg this moment to bring peace. That's him, that's him, there he is. He said it was dangerous keeping it inside. And then I heard you say he wanted to give it to charity, so that's what I did. We were talking about the pounds, not the euro. It wasn't euro. I looked inside and I saw it was pounds. Well, then you must have only looked at the very top. How do, you, how do you know that? Well, because, look, Shane, what happened was, okay, we put the 20,000 euro in the blue bag, then we filled up the white bag with pounds, but then there were some pounds left over, so we took those and we put them in the blue bag on top of the euro, okay? Now, for the last time, where did you leave it? Are there even any nuns left anymore? Yeah, but there's not that many, so probably nobody's even seen it yet. Oh, hopefully. You know, if there really is a god, we're going to get to that money before the nuns do. I don't want to scare the dog. For 20,000 euro? Why are these streets so narrow? Because they were built when people only had horses. Well, they should have waited till cars were invented. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, we're in a bit of a hurry. Would you mind just... No, again? I'm, we're just... We gotta... We're gonna snap it. Indeed it is. <laughs> Thanks be to God. Amen. <laughs> yeah, but even if we could break in there, the nuns probably have it stashed away somewhere. We're never going to find it. We have to get it. It's our money. No, it's not. Well, 
It's not the nuns' money. They didn't steal it. Oh, well then, all we have to do is go down to the courthouse and tell the judge that we're the ones who stole it. I'm not saying it's ours legally. I'm saying morally. Yeah, and how do we even know the nuns haven't called the police already? Because they need the money so their school doesn't shut down. That, that, that's why I gave it to them. Oh. Well, he's probably right. I mean, if they've been asking for donations, why would they even question it? We'll go over to the convent and tell the nuns that we're the commissioner of schools and that we will leave their school open indefinitely for 20,000 euros up front, no questions asked. Yeah. Or we could just go in there and tell them we're Jesus, Mary and Joseph and we need 20,000 euro to stop heaven from closing down. Well, at least we tried. Maybe it's just not meant to be. How do you mean? Well, it's been a very exciting week, but maybe we're just fooling ourselves. You think so? It certainly feels that way. We'll dress up as guards. What? Myself and Colm, we'll, we'll dress up as guards and, and we'll go in there and tell the nuns that the money is stolen and just demand that they hand it over. I you want to impersonate a police officer? Yeah, 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 that's exactly what I want to do. I mean, all I need is... Those two guards who pretended to arrest me? If I can find a way back into their house, I'll just steal their uniforms. Really? Yeah, yeah, I mean... Actually, I can find a way back into their house. I remember after they took the handcuffs off me, I went into the bathroom, and I was thinking, if they try anything else, I can just escape out through the window, because it wasn't even locked. And, and you think it still might be open? Yeah, I mean, lots of people <laughs> leave their bathroom window open all the time. Sneaking in there like that, isn't that kind of risky? Of course it's risky. But what do I care about a little thing like risk? I mean, I'm not going to let something like that stop us from getting where we need to be. I mean, I'm just not that kind of person. We should go now. No. I mean, the guards are probably sleeping, and at this time of night, we could be there and back with the uniforms in less than an hour. Yeah, I, I mean, we, we probably could, but, but I mean, the other thing we could do is we, we could just stay here and, you know, take advantage of these, these, these really exciting feelings that we're having. No, 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 this is too exciting. Come on, get up. We are stealing guard uniforms. Yeah. Well, and if it's not open, I'll have to find another way in. Uh, yeah. And you're sure they don't have guns? No, guards in Ireland never carry guns. Oh, well, well, how do they shoot people? They don't. Well, what do they do? I don't know. They have truncheons. Oh, and, and those have bullets? No, of course not. Oh. But if you got hit over the head with one of those things, it could really crack open your skull. Oh, okay. okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in there. I'm going to grab the uniform. No, 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 no. I should go in there. I'm going to fit more easily through the window. No, you're not. And anyway, it's my idea. So I should be the one who goes Wait, in. Why wouldn't I fit more easily through the window? Well, because even though I have broader shoulders, I can just pull them in. And once I get past my chest, I don't have any hips to worry about. Uh, so. And I do? No. No, 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 you don't. I, I didn't know that. <gasps> okay, so I'm fine. So the uniforms are at the end of the kitchen table. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, at least that's where they hung them the okay. day I was there. And I assume they're still there. Actually, I can just make them out from here. They hung their hats and their jackets. I think actually their shirts are in there as well. I can grab them. I could be out in five seconds. I mean, and actually I can even open that door from the inside and just come straight out this way. I'll... What? What are you doing? What? Nicole, come back. Come back. You locked the window. <laughs> Kieran, is that you? Uh huh? I said, is that you? Of course it is. Who else would it be? Okay, God, I know we haven't communicated in a really long time, and, well, it's mostly your fault. I mean, in fairness, you're very aloof. But if you do happen to exist, maybe you could just, first of all, just get the call out of this. And maybe make it so that she, she, 
You understand what I mean? I know you're single and everything, and maybe it works for you, but I don't think it would be very good for me. This may be the best day of our lives For all we know, tomorrow may not come <laughs> This may be the moment of our youth and Maybe the truth has just begun <laughs> All the daylight turns through our eyes We move beyond the path of compromise Have you got butterflies in your belly? No, but your coat is really smelly. <laughs> you don't look very steady. Well, I don't think you're really ready. <laughs> what do you want, a mani-pedi? <laughs> What's a mani-pedi? Some manicure pedicure. Abbreviations don't count. Oh, really? Yeah, sorry. Oh, why not? They just don't. <laughs> right. <laughs> Should we do this? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Good luck, Officer McCarthy. Thank you, ma'am. Although I probably shouldn't use my real name. Yeah, probably not. You're gonna do most of the talking, right? Don't worry, we'll be grand. <laughs> are you sure? Of course. I'm sure those nuns are easily fooled. Thank you very much, sister. You're very welcome. So, how can I be of assistance? Well, sister. We're gathering information with regards to monies that went missing over this past weekend. Monies? Well, yes, monies. I mean, it is money, but there happens to be two different currencies involved, so it may be more appropriate to say monies. The majority of it is in Euro, but there happens to be some Irish pounds in there as well. Irish pounds, you say? I do, sister, yes. And so, we were wondering if you might have come into contact with said monies at any stage during the last weekend. Do you know something? You look very familiar to me. Uh, I do? Yes, you do. Well, you, you've, you've probably seen me out and about, you know, on, on my, my beat. Hmm, that's probably it, all right. As I was saying, sister, we were wondering if you may have come into contact with the aforementioned monies in question. You'd wonder why would anyone have Irish pounds on them in this day and age? I mean, they'd be of hardly any value at all, would they? No, they wouldn't. But as for the 20,000 euro, now that would definitely have a value of, well, of 20,000 euro. You Probably right there. Are you absolutely sure that yourself and myself hadn't met somewhere before? Yes, sister, I, I am. And where would you be from? I'm from here, from, from Cork. You don't seem to have a very strong Cork accent. Well, I, I used to live abroad, and you see, my wife is a, a foreigner. You know, sometimes I, I, I tend to pick up things, you know? Is that right? So, sister, if you have information that might help us with our investigation. We would really like you to tell us. You wouldn't be Mary McCarthy's son, would you? No, sister, no. No, I, I wouldn't. And then whose son would you be? I'd be Mary, Mary Murphy's son. See, she, she'd be my mother, you see, and so, so that I'd be her son. 
Now, it is believed to have been dropped off on the steps of this very convent by a five-foot brown-haired man who happened to be driving a bicycle. You know, Mary McCarthy's son was married to a foreigner as well. Really? I think she was an American. I remember it clearly now. A few months before Mary McCarthy died, I heard her son was getting married. I said I'd pop my head into the church just for the ceremony. And it was only when the bride was saying her vows that I realised where she was from. My wife is definitely not an American, so... No. no she... Do you know something about me? I've been teaching in the primary school here for the last 42 years. And when you've been teaching young children at that age for as long as I have, you develop an impeccable sense of when someone is being genuine and when they are not. Now, I mustn't be late for Mass. It's very important for someone like me to set a good example to the rest of the congregation. Just like your mother, God rest her soul, believed she was setting a good example for you. And you can rest assured, gentlemen, that any and all information I possess on the matter, I will divulge to Sergeant O'Connell himself. Directly. The other Irish pounds, we should, we should, we should probably burn them. Brendan, if she's called the police, they can be here in like 10 seconds flat. Yeah, yeah, I, I know that, but Nicole, you're not going to have to worry about that, because I just booked you a ticket. What? Yeah, and I used everything that was in our savings account, and it's a non-refundable ticket, so you have to go. <sighs> no, I'm not going anywhere. God, I can't believe I'm gonna get rid of these. Look, I, I tried to get you on an earlier one, but the earliest one I could get is 7 o'clock tomorrow night, so all you have to do is just lay low for 24 hours, and then you'll be safely on your way back to America. Brendan, run this together, okay? I mean, all we have to do is just get rid of the evidence, and everything's gonna be fine. We're not. We're not in anything together. Look, uh, I know when we first got married, it seemed like I was a very adventurous person, but that, that was because we were falling in love. You know, that was the adventure. And to be honest, I've, I've never wanted anything more than that. And I know you wanted to do the talking fridge idea. I mean, we should have, and, and we didn't, because I was afraid. And, and that's who I am. And you deserve better than that. So all you got to do is just Lay low for the next 24 hours, get on that plane, and just get on with your life. Brendan Hugh McCarthy. Yeah. I'm Detective Clifford, this is Detective Coleman. You're under arrest on suspicion of robbery, suspicion of impersonating a guard, and the illegal possession of a guard in uniform. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. Wait, where are you taking him? He'll have a chance to phone you when he gets there. Yeah, that's right, we have him now. Didn't we hear him? Oh, we did. We definitely did. Huh? And you hadn't a clue in the world that it was the pair of us that was behind it, did you? What's going on? I'll tell you exactly what's going on. First, Kieran got me. 
by making me think that you had the gun pointed to the back of my head. Top 29. Then yourself and myself got him by making him think that I was torn dead on the ground. Top 26. Then myself and himself got you by making you think that you were after being arrested for assaulting a guard. Top 17. <laughs> and then you got us by breaking into our house in the middle of the night. Top 32. And now we've got you back even better than that by sending the lads around to arrest you for stealing the pair of our uniforms. Top 14. So you knew about that? Of course we did. And you very nearly got away with it too. It was only that I was climbing back into the bed and I heard a noise from outside the front of the house. And I got up and I looked out the window, didn't I, hear? Oh, you did. Yeah. And when I saw that it was your car that was driving away into the distance, do you know what I said? No. I said, fair play to that bastard. He got us an absolute beauty. And then do you know what I said? No. I said, we'll get him back in even better beauty than that when we send the lads around to arrest him and make him think he's been taken off to the jail. <laughs> Didn't I say that, Kieran? Yeah, the very words, Jim. The very words. So they said that I was under suspicion of impersonating a guard, because why else would anyone steal guard uniforms? But I was just getting ye back for the, for the joke he played on me, because I'm such a prankster. That's exactly it. So, who's the bastard now? Huh? Ye are. Both of ye. You're definitely a pair of bastards. And don't you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> but I honestly thought that we were going to get arrested. So I, I was just saying whatever I needed to say to, 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 to get you to go safely back to America. So everything you said this afternoon was a lie, but everything you told me before that this week has been the truth? Well, no, I mean, uh, yeah, yes, I have been putting on a kind of an act, but... I think I need to use that plane ticket. What? I can, I can be packed and ready by tomorrow night. Nicole, we're not going to get caught. I mean, if the nun was going to turn us in, she'd definitely have done it by now. I just wish I'd stuck to my original decision, and then we wouldn't be locked into this non-refundable ticket, and we could have started the divorce proceedings before I left. Divorce proceedings? But we've just had the single greatest week of our married life. And the entire time you've been lying to me about who you really are. Oh, it's yourself again, is it? This is a fine state of affairs. A fine state of affairs indeed. Was it you that dragged Mary McCarthy's boy into this? Or was it him that dragged you? It was me, sister. It was all my idea. And was it just the two of you that stole the money? Or was there someone else involved as well? It was just the two of us. Do you know what I can't stand more than anything else? The devil? A bare-faced lie! Now you tell me exactly who you were talking about when you were up here dressed as a guard and you told me the money had been dropped off by a five-foot brown-haired fella driving a bicycle. Well, sister, it was just Tell a... me the truth. Or I swear by Almighty God, I'll be on to Sergeant O'Connell and he'll be straight into jail with the pair of you. Yeah, what? What? What the hell are you doing there? Yeah, I, I, I told you not... <sighs> yeah, all right, okay. Yeah, look, okay, I'll be there as soon as I can. And now, the other fellow?
You need some help? Oh, uh, no, actually, I'm, I'm almost done. Yeah, actually, I, I sort of need to get going anyway. Uh, you're going to work? I don't think I'm actually going to make it in there today. Right. I, I know your flight's not till this evening, but there's a really good chance that I, I might not get to see you again before you go. So this is goodbye. At least it's been an interesting week. It has. The divorce papers, I'll, I'll organize those and I'll, you know, probably, I'll just have to just send them over to you and you'll probably just have to sign them and, and just send them back, so. You're not gonna have to, you know, worry about that. Thanks. And when your permanent residency comes through, I'll just, you know, I'll just, just tell them you don't need them any, anymore. And um, that'll, uh, yeah, so you can just, you can just, you know, forget about that. Okay. Well, have a good flight. <laughs> Thanks, I, I will. anything about my wife. We have to know the rules. You know the rules, do you? The commandments. Stretch up to the heavens. And how does that? Good, Good sister. sister. Yeah. What commandment comes after thou shalt not commit a don't? Brendan. Um. Thou shalt not steal. Good boy, that's right. No, I'm not stealing. No, no stretch down to the depths of hell. And how does that feel? No, 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 sister. Pull him. Moves. Back of the glass. No sideways to purgatory. We have to live in purgatory if we don't repent. The heaven are to hell. Sister, would this be limbo? Turn the wind unto itself, still the ocean tide. Burn the light that bleeds my eyes, take prisoner of my pride. To draw this veil across my sky I'm drifting over the edge of this day I know I could somehow find my way If you would only no. walk with Please me Please forgive me, Lord, for I'm very sorry If you would only Be back here in ten minutes. Excuse me, sister. Yes, child. Um, I know I have a few more hours of prayer left, but I was wondering if I could leave a little early. There's just somewhere I really need to be in about half an hour. Will you have a cup of tea? No, thank no you. No bother to pour an extra cup. And we might as well not waste the water. It really is a beautiful building. Indeed it is. It would be an awful shame when we have to leave it. You didn't raise enough to save the school? Unfortunately not. Couldn't you just use the money that was left on your doorstep? No, child. Now that I know where it came from, 
I'm going to have to ensure that those that stole it return it to its rightful owner. Where will you live? I imagine it won't be far. Not like yourself, having to live thousands of miles from your homeland. Actually, that's why I need to leave early. It's, I'm going to move there permanently. My flight's at seven, and it's a non-refundable ticket. I suppose that means that Brendan will want to be leaving early, too. No. No, actually, he's not coming with me. Did Brendan ever tell you that I was in the church on the morning you got married? Yeah, he mentioned it. I remember the two of you walking down the aisle with the love of each other deep in your heart. It was an exciting time. And it's not anymore. You know, I traveled to your country once. Really? I still remember the excitement of stepping on a plane for the first time in my life and being raised up from the ground. And after that, it was nothing to see at all, only long stretches of ocean that bored me to distraction. Something I could never have imagined in the very first moments when I was being elevated to the heavens. But you know something? It was a truly wonderful journey. You're free to do whatever you please. But choose wisely, child. There's one thing you have to remember about life. It's completely non-refundable, too. I'm drifting over the edge of this day. I know I could somehow find my way with you. But only walk with me. If you would only walk with me. You know, if we ever wanted to commit another crime, I think we've done enough penance to be forgiven in advance. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. So, what was it that changed your mind about us? I just figured, even if there's going to be long stretches of ocean, that I didn't want to be staring at it without you. Huh? I don't exactly know what that means, but I like it. Mm. Mm, you know what's going to be really exciting? What? Paying all of our bills on time and still being able to follow our dream. Yeah, that would be exciting, but I don't really know how we could afford a prototype. I think there's a way. The thing is, Mr. McSweeney, we have it on very good authority that you were in possession of a large sum of money which had never been declared to the governmental offices of taxation. Revenue. And the pair of us fellas, being officers of the law, and also being in possession of a very high level of detection skills, have taken it upon ourselves to get to the very bottom. Core. The very bottom of the situation. Now, for starters, I want you to show me all records of all transactions made by this company over the past two. Five. Four. Six years. See what I can find. Good man. How's it going there, lads? <laughs> you got my anonymous letter about McSweeney, did you? No, oh, be God, we did. And right here's all the evidence they're ever going to need. And we should have known that it was from you. And you shouldn't be here. Oh, we should have. Yeah, we definitely should have. You're going to give me and the other workers the 25% raise that we deserve. You'll also be required to make a legitimate donation 
to the convent down the road to stop their school from closing down. I mean, here was the two of us thinking that we had our first ever sniff of a white collar crime. And the whole time, it was nothing more than you getting the two of us back for sending that pair of detectives around to your house. That's exactly right. <laughs> I made the whole thing up. <laughs> because my friend over there is the only one with the power to keep those two guards off your back. You're going to provide him and his wife with enough capital to get their new business venture off the ground. And I got you a beauty, didn't I? You absolutely did, didn't he, Hiram? Oh, by God, he did. Now, why would I do any of that? Sure, the worst that could happen to me is I'll have to pay some back taxes. But it's not the kind of crime they'll throw a guy in jail for. But you know what is? Robbery. So who's the bastard now? Huh? Who you were. <laughs> You're definitely the bastard. This is for you. Fair play to you, boy. <laughs> so it's you, is it? You dirty, rotten scoundrel. Now you listen to me, you filthy mongrel. With your young, high-heeled hussy stressed out on the couch in the middle of the night. If I ever find out who you are and where you live, your wife will most definitely be getting a visit from me. You dirty, lying, cheating son of a six-legged goat. I can't give you his wife's name and address just yet, but I'll definitely let you know if anything changes, okay? Bye now. Bye-bye. That was great. Yeah, that was great. I mean, I mean, you'd have to admit that it'd probably be in the top five, would it? Or not the top. Top ten? Go on. Top fifteen? Twenty-five. Twenty-five? Well, that's... That's most that's better than... Well, you will Twenty-five. Time has turned towards all we hope to be. All its thoughts have passed through you. Test recording for the talking fridge. Cullum? Closing the button on your pants won't hurt if you choose the frozen yogurt. Why? Well, pants doesn't rhyme with yogurt. No, 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 hurt you yogurt. No, 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 If you eat too much cheesecake, looking in the mirror will make you want to jump in the lake. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if, if you eat too much chocolate, you should be lined up against the wall and shot. Come on, girls. 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 Come on, yeah. Want to try it out? Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Thank you. If you're doing penance for a crime, tasting Brussels sprouts would do just fine. <laughs> it works. Knelt upon the light of a cleansing If you listen to all of our health tips, your heart will really love what touches your lips. <laughs> I like that one. So how many have we sold today? Uh, about a hundred euros worth. Wow, it's not bad on a Monday morning. No, it's not. <laughs> so, what time's your test? One thirty. What is it today? Kids nutrition. Hi, great. <laughs> Hello. Mr. McCarthy. Yes. This is the immigration office, and we regret to inform that your wife's application for Irish residency has been denied. At the interview, they said it was. And she is hereby instructed to leave the country. No, I, I mean I don't understand it. She... She's my wife. Yeah, and we got you an absolute beauty! Didn't we kill? Oh we did. We definitely did. So, who's the bastard now, huh? You are. You're definitely the bastard. And don't you forget it. <laughs> I don't think this is ever gonna stop. <laughs> well, at least it keeps things interesting. Yeah, but I can't believe I'm not the bastard anymore. Oh, that's okay, honey. I'm sure that you'll be the bastard again soon. I hope so.